people, so I, the way I brush my dog's hair, because they both have curly textures, I start from the bottom, mm -hmm. and then I work my way up. And I start with the comb because I want to make sure that it's through to the shaft. Mm -hmm. And I kind of hold it in the section because I don't want to cause him to have pain. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they can feel it on their skin or not. Yes, they can. You can't hurt them. I just try to take a section at a time. It's the most... When I see curly spots like this, I think that I got a comb right there because I imagine that's going to be a knot sooner or later. Mm -hmm. Looks like he has really clean ears. I didn't clean him, so I have no idea. He got a super quick, mommy ain't got no time bath. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good boy. Good job, Sandy. Like Sandy likes getting cold. Yeah. He won't bite you, don't worry. He might try to give you his paw. So I feel like my dog hates getting his legs done. And maybe I'm doing it wrong. He, I promise you, he will not bite you. He doesn't bite. <laughs> I'm trying to do that section situation here. And I see that fluff. Okay. I feel like I'm doing it right because mm -hmm. when I when I comb. So the comb is to check oh. your brushwork. So you were stop being goofy, boy. You could easily miss doing this. Like, see, that's not that's not gonna come through. He could still have tangles right there. Mm -hmm. Come here, you goof. You showing off the company. So this is called line brushing. So well, this is what I would do instead. Always with the brush first. Hold it down, and then you see how you can see to the skin mm -hmm. right here? And you go the opposite direction. And you just go slowly, slowly keep pulling hair. It's out the way. It's not really showing out. <laughs> and then you slowly keep pulling hair. Okay. It looks a lot more straight. And, and then this way you can, you know, because you see it, you see it, you're just taking a little by little. And that way you know you're getting everything because do then I'll show you how that comb goes through after this. Do you always go the opposite direction? Of it don't matter. Oh, okay. See? It's just because it's his ear, it's a little easier. Once I get to the end, I'll split my arm and go this way. The ear is actually a hard spot to start with because there's so many layers to it and you have to be careful because it's sensitive. Which is why if a dog gets really badly tangled in here, it's just best to shave it. Mm. So always going down to the skin, pulling hair back. This is called line brushing. So you should be able to see that difference in how that comes oh, through. Yeah. You see it actually comes through. So you can be doing all that work and not actually getting anything done. Like this, so that's probably painful to him. Just combing it out like that. Mm. You goof. It's everywhere. Everywhere's line brushing. Hold it, pull it back. Yeah, that's and this doesn't hurt. Like you can I'm literally, and I'm not dragging it on the skin. It's pat and pull off, pat and pull off. Get some hair and you pull it off. Okay, a little flick of the wrist. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting, if it's really quiet, you can actually hear, here. So if you be quiet, you can probably hear the difference when I get through the tangles. Hang on here. You can hear it so bad right there, actually. It's, so that one was pretty subtle. I can hear it though. Yeah, when it's done like with the tangles, it actually is a lighter sound. Obviously, be careful with his eye. He's very used to it. Yeah, they get used to it. There you go. And then check. See, you shouldn't have to struggle. If you're struggling, it's caught on something. Now, I know his back legs have tangles because this is the fluffiest part of his body. So I'll go, <laughs> brat, over here. Your nut. So I know he has tangles right here. He always gets them here. And so, but it's the same thing. I just put my hand down, line brush. Just go around. Wow, you do it so fast too. You get used to it. And then I'm trying, I'm hoping I'm gonna catch a tangle, a bad one, because like I said, I just let them air dry. 
in this area, I can see it's tangled. But like I said, if you're doing this once a week, here there, there's some tangles here. So this little area, mm. good job. And you see how that looks different than this? Mm -hmm. So sometimes people will be like, yeah, my dog doesn't matter, but you look, and granted, he's been, he's groomed regularly, so it's not as bad. But sometimes you'll see all this super curly hair mm -hmm. and then you can see how it clumps together mm -hmm. as opposed to a dog that's brushed out will look like this, gotcha. you know? So instantly you can tell, for example, where he gets really nasty on these legs here, mm -hmm. how they're super tightly curled. The back here is super tightly curled. Those are like his problem areas as opposed to this. So it's like you can tell, see, and that don't come through. So I know there's, it's kind of tangling right there. So as opposed to yanking it out, you know, I'm going to just go a different direction. Mm. See, here's a tangle right there. Because I was literally yanking it out with the comb. My dog has so many. I mean, honestly, you can yank it out. It's, each dog is different. He doesn't really care. But some dogs might be super sensitive. You see? And yeah. it just comes through. Wow. And some dogs oh, might baby. be super sensitive. So you just have to know your dog. It shouldn't hurt them. You know? Yeah, no, I try to make it as gentle and give them breaks. Yeah, but like this will take me, if it's just me doing it straight through, I'm going to finish his leg real quick and you'll see how quick it is. It don't take that long. Good boy, Sanji. And then this way, I'm seeing every inch of his hair. So, this right here is probably the longest hair on his body right now. With doodles, it's a little bit different just because they have that combination coat. It's like their hair is fighting with itself. Mm -hmm. Some of them have like the coat where it's like, so it's like some hairs are short, some hairs are long, some hairs are coarse, some hairs are soft. And that just makes it easier to tangle, which is why when a person will say, yeah, I brush my comb and brush my dog every day, I'm not gonna fight them on that because who knows what kind of hair their dog has, you know, but. That's a, and like I said, with mixed breeds, you kind of don't know what you're going to get, so. Okay. But yeah, so this whole leg, I'm going to do this foot. He don't like his feet being messed with. Even though you've been getting your feet messed with your whole life, they just don't like what they like. <laughs> Good boy. And that's how you got to hear how he's grunting. That's how you know he likes it. Oh, he likes it. I yeah. thought he didn't like it. No, that noise he makes when I'm petting him. And he'll fall asleep. That is so funny. It's like his little grunting. I know, I know, those feet are sensitive. You gotta get everywhere. Anywhere there's hair. He's kind of tangled here. This is a slight sensitive area, so I do kind of be super light over here just because you don't want to scratch none of your bits. But you gotta get everywhere. Anywhere there's hair, anywhere you want to keep hair, you gotta do it. But it's the same way. I'm holding some hair back, brushing, and I can see a little part. It's not as neat because I'm trying to just show you how I go fast. Good boy. I know. That's weird. His feet are still kind of wet. So I'm not going to brush right there because it's still kind of wet. I don't want to brush wet hair. But Oh, you shouldn't? Because sometimes when I blow dry my dog, I brush and blow dry. That's bad. Not, I mean, like, no, that's not bad because that's how you get them to be super straight and poofed. He is air dry, so look, you see that? There's actually a tangle right here, I see it. This right here is tangled. And the comb isn't coming through. So that's what I mean when I say you're checking. You go through and you should be able to get that comb through. Right there, you see that? So I know right there and right here, I need to go back through. We'll just go back through. A lot of people get mad when Grimmer shaves off too, but it's just, a lot of times when you demat a dog, they come back in right back tangled. So you did all this work, it's easier to get them tangled because now the hairs can be broken. So demat dogs that are like, that actually have tangles. See? Mm -hmm. And then it's like, they, they're just gonna come back in tangled. So it's like, I would rather shave the dog, get those tangles out as easily as possible without hurting the dog and educating the owner. Because if you don't, they're just going to keep doing it over and over again. And that's a lot of hard work. It's hard on the dog. It's hard on the groomer's hands and wrists. It's a lot of money for the client. <laughs> it, it damages your tools. Here we go. All right. 
Yeah. You see the difference in that how that looks? It's beautiful. Yeah, so that's why I'm like, you can see when the dog hasn't been brushed, the owner hasn't been doing anything. See that? So you always gotta check with the comb. Yep, and so that's it. And the thing is, this is why I recommend shorter lengths. This stuff, they won't match. You don't. Yeah, it's not going to tangle. Like I'm not even going to do that. I'm gonna just brush them like this. A lot of people, this is how they'll brush the whole dog. Even this, that won't work. This is short enough to where this works. Mm -hmm. That only works on short hair. See? Wow. Which is why I'm like, just this is why this is my favorite coat. Short body. This requires hardly no work. Leave the legs and leave it fluffy and cute and have some type of style. And then you're done. You're a good boy. Are you a good boy? I said you like that. Him like getting brushed. Yes. Yes, he likes it. You little nasty boy. Yes, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. All done. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. Good job. Do you want me to try your technique? Uh, you don't have to. It was just, it was very interesting to see how you did it because I saw 10 times out of 10 when people said they brush, I've seen people be like, so, oh, oh, this is a good demonstration. So some people, you see how this leg is, okay, is nappy. This is what they'll do. Uh. And it's going to give you a similar look. You see how it looks, you know, it looks fluffy. You know, oh yeah, I brush them. Mm -hmm. I brush them. Look at this. But it's not... It's yeah. not gonna go through. Let me try your technique, actually. Yeah, let me see if I can keep him calm for you. <laughs> Look at all that. So they shed it, just don't come out. Okay, and I'll keep him calm for you. If you want to get on this side, it might be easier, and I'll just make sure he stays calm because he's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, boy. Yeah, that way. And I'll just keep him calm. <laughs> Because he's a nut. Oh, wait, I gotta go. I gotta hold the hair back. You okay, son? You just licking your mom. And he's living it up. It's about to get hyper, I can tell. <laughs> Calm in. Check that area with the comb that you just got done brushing. Okay. Well, let me see what, make sure you're using the right end of that comb too. Yeah, the wider tube. Oh. Looks like I did it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You happy? Hey, 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 chill, chill, chill. You happy? I got two hands on me. I don't know what to do. <laughs> He's a big dog. Start to finish, I personally should be able to get a dog done within like a good TV show. But that's what I. So that's what I do. I will put on a TV show, sit down, and brush him. And usually he's only acting up because because you're doing you're touching him. Usually he falls asleep. So look, no, look at all that, y'all. Uh -huh, there you go. <laughs> oh, that's such a good feeling. Yep. And that's what you gotta do. Anywhere that there's long hair, like pretty much anything long. <laughs> Can you repeat what you said? <laughs> I'm glad I learned that because I haven't been doing my dog right. Yeah, it's, it's very easy to 